What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Return to Monkey Island right here on Let's Play with Brigands. First, big shout out to friend of the channel, Josh, for actually gifting me this game. This is like the day after it came out that I'm actually playing this. So uh, I'm very excited. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. Casual mode, all the story and all the fun with casual puzzles for the busy on-the-go player. That doesn't sound like us. Hard mode, more puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey for the pro-adventure gamer who wants it all. No self-respecting ex self Let's Play channel owner would settle for less. Hard mode it is. Could end up in some embarrassing spots for myself, but... Alright, prelude. How's it gonna piece together? waiting a while for this. Take this, Flitchuck! Ugh. Okay. Guybrush, come over here gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're right. not supposed to be in here. Okay. <laughs> we got sent outside. What's next? It's our Let's parents. Let's on those two. Pretend they're our parents. Pretend. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're diverging. Sorry we ran <laughs> off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love the artwork. Um, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. Oh, I wonder if it's real. Giraffe up there. How far are we gonna take this? Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. I've heard that guy before. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. No ah. fooling. Wait. Someone just... That was a giraffe two seconds ago, was it not? Mm, reality is blurring here. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world. Ah. Sounds real. I don't know if I like the uh, sound effects subtitles, actually. <laughs> All right, let's get us some scurvy dogs, right? Can't keep Chucky waiting. Hello, sir. Two of your best Those scurvy dogs. are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> oh, bet that'll come into play somehow. Right-click to you ask for stuff. You better have money. Uh, yeah. We've got all kinds of money. All kinds. A couple scurvy dogs for me and my first Can we mate. Get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Is my word not good enough? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I can see how that would be annoying. That just, okay. Yeah. I guess, All right. never mind. Find hey, us a I piece. Know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down and they... Ew! He's like, oh, yes, please rush to get me a feces-covered piece of eight. Here we go. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Possibly. Something. Like hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. <laughs> nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. He's got a one-track mind, that Chucky. There is a key in here, yeah. Can we borrow I your key? I a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Need to get some poop money for you. I'll you don't bring mind. this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. You'd be I wise. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. 
Yeah, I can see him saying that. I'd be, me personally, I'd be one of the kind of kids who would believe that. I'd be like, oh no, better bring that key back to this gentleman. Good, you unlocked it. Sweet. Ew. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. With this? I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. <laughs> Gross. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. This okay. is your idea. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Gross. All right. Oh, here we it go. It wasn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Hmm. Probably got to get that guy's glasses. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. To get him to buy it. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. All right, Chucky. To get him to sell it, I should say. Try to save some of those stories. It's a long game. I'm gonna spread these out. All right. Make fun. Maybe if we make fun of his glasses enough, he'll take them off and start crying, and we can steal them. <laughs> so mean. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. I know, we're trying to exploit that about you. Now what? Scooby dogs? Can I at least get a chicken foot fry? Can we get some chicken foot fries? Mm. You got two pieces of eight? Two no. pieces. And no fries. I got one piece of eight, as far as you know. What can we get with this? Ah, he's not gonna... Yeah, it's not gonna... Tastes like a piece oh, of eight. Does Enough it? for a couple of scurvy dogs, if you All want. right. Perfect. I was digging in for Take a much a more boy. difficult ordeal what there. What are you getting? What? Go. Just kidding. Here's yours. Ew. All right, that's worth a feces encrusted piece of eight. This <laughs> One bite. This is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't know. Oh. What do you want to do? Chucky has good ideas. I wonder where those two people we were following went. Oh, our parents, quote unquote. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? You're a fountain of knowledge, Chucky. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey, hey D. Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. What she add to it? There, perfect. See you around the park, Zitheads. <laughs> Zitheads, classic little kid insult. To do list. All right, bought scurvy dogs. We found the coin. I like this ordering system here. This is nice. Mess around and explore. We gotta check out the anchor. Look at all the stuff she added. Beat Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Oh, we do still have it. Practice sword fighting, that'll be fun. Four leaf clover. Make a wish at the wishing well. Find our real parents. Oh, okay. All right, that's fair. Still a little with that intro, but we'll work through it. We'll figure it out, that's the whole point here. What's up with that's the anchor, cool anchor? D? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Owned. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a... They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then, people noticed <laughs> what sleep. happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. I think this is kind of interesting. design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But that makes sense. the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V really? was bad luck. V you for victory? You can find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's oh, yeah. to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. 
the ah. little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. Sure. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. <laughs> So they gave up and went back yeah. to the old way. The sure. word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. Who would click through I that the first time? <laughs> <laughs> we just missed out on a fascinating lecture there. Oh, hold on. I got the cliff notes for you. Okay. How about that? Nice feature. What else do, what other hotkeys have we got as I just start touching everything? Inventory. O is the settings. I'm gonna break the game here. I guess that's it. Pause the hey, game. Ooh, that's a nice pause screen. They call a scurvy dog a Shein score butt. Interesting. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> All right. Did so now I might. They were used. They started then. The oh butt. no! You can still on a modern. That's to prevent the little flip. Most ink about third. Oh, but the only the word and they're called. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that again. Hey Chucky, wanna race? Here we You're go. On. Now was I supposed to be Chucky or D? Two, one, go! Double click. I already figured Chucky that out. Wins. What? That's the line right there. Yeah. I stopped. Shoot. That's not fair. You up for another race? That's You're clearly on. the line. Look, oh, it's got the blue. Three, two, All right. One. Not hey, Sheena. <laughs> you have to wait until I say go. Oh, is that how that works? Yup. You're on. I'll officiate. Three. Two, one, go! There we go. I win! <laughs> Alt F4. Alright, I better save before I do this. Before I take any suggestions. Uh, here? Had it going earlier just to make sure everything worked as we got into it, but... Alt F4. Nothing. <laughs> We switch between the old and new art style. Oh wait. Let's head back. Check out our to-do list rather. Beat him in a race, checked out the anchor. Feed the duck. Let's give him some scurvy dog. I want to feed the duck. Take some bread, never mind. Hey, hands off. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Okay. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard ah. for personal property. Gotta run! <laughs> How rude. How rude. Sounds like it's like a little bit of Red Foreman, but it's also a voice actor I've heard a thousand times. All right, Duck. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Never change, Chucky. Here you go, Ducky. Let's do it from the pier. I agree. That's a better place to feed ducks. Oh. Done. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog. Here we go. <laughs> Disgusting. But you know what? It already had flies on it, so. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. It's just, it's just take the part that's not touching the ground. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Something to like collect the ketchup, I suppose. Oh, just you pick it up. Put that on your dog. Man, I'm overthinking everything. Oh, yeah. What are we doing now? Sword fighting. This kid's got a sword up here. I'll do it on the ship. Sure. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. <laughs> no way! 
You'll never catch up to my level. But uh, I win. I win. Uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Do you want What's a up, sword Tess? fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. Okay. Well, we practiced. Find a four-leaf clover. I like this. This is a nice list of little kid things to do. Wishing well. I should find a coin to throw in. Take another bite with the ketchup now. Ew! And then Yuck. just back to that little smile. That Ew! <laughs> Chucky has good ideas, like putting not I ketchup. I have in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Incredible, Chucky. I wonder where this path goes. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. I take everything off our list. Still got to find another. Oh, here we go. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. Maybe we should buy, like, clean food. <laughs> nah, let's make a wish. I wish for clean food. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah! What? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd laugh in that situation. That was pretty good. I wish I'd read the other cool. ones. Oh, well. I rushed that. All right, just need to find a four-leaf clover, and we are good to go. Literally, we're leaving. Four-leaf clover. A cute duck. Excuse me. Would you boys mind letting us enjoy our day in peace? Thanks. Okay. Fine. Last time I choose you to be my fake parents. Oh, here's a four-leaf clover on a sign. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. You're going to be like a little mini game? Where did we find one? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Kind of stand one. out. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. What? I guess you can add my four-leaf clover, D, uh, or not. I'll hold on to it. All right, maybe our real parents are. Out to the right, hopefully. I guess that's auto save. Why does it look all sunsetty? It's not quite as. Interesting. Wait a minute, what? Guybrush? Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. <gasps> Having fun? What? Yeah, we got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. Huh. We just did Big Whoop. Big okay. Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. Huh. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. <laughs> A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never <laughs> did find the secret. Not the real one. Yes, what is sure, the secret? But that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is ah. this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I that have one. to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. 
See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.